Welcome back to part two. Um, I am showing uh, the sewing, the, the brother machine, the SE625. Um, things to know about your machine, things on the machine, and I covered the sewing. So now I'm doing the embroidery part. Um, for those of you that have this machine and don't know what to do with the embroidery, I'm going to show you. Um, my first video is going to show you, and I know it was kind of hard because the lighting, um, but I was showing you what buttons were what, how you can move it, rotate it, and all that other stuff, and then I'll go back over that again as well. Um, the main thing that I want to tell you about is your stabilizers. Now, um, people have the preference on stabilizers. And you have all kinds of tearaway. You have um, you have your light weight tearaway. You have your medium weight tearaway. Um, I don't know if there's a heavy weight tearaway or not. I'm not sure. But I use from light and medium. I'll use both of those. Now, um, I, this is tearaway. I bought this on eBay. I've been having this for three and a half years. It was a big roll. As much embroidery that I do, this is how much I have left. So three and a half years, this came a long ways. Um, it's good for the 4x4 four four hoop. And, or you're smaller. But, that's, that's how long this is last me. Um, I have, I have another tearaway right here. Um, I got, when I purchased my brother PE 800, um, I got the embroidery kit and it came with, um, 23 spools of embroidery thread, scissors, you get four deals of stabilizer, and a CD that's got 200 designs on it. Um, and then, with this machine, no, with this machine, you get 200 designs. What I got was like 20-something designs. Um, on that one disc. But I got it with that embroidery kit. So, this is Tearaway Stabilizer. Now this is my heavyweight tearaway. Now my go-to thing is if you do like in the hoop stuff, it's good for tearaway. Um and it just depends. People have their preference on what they use. Um, some people will use tearaway on in the hoop. I have used tearaway in the hoop. Um, in the hoop projects. I've used tearaway. It, it don't matter. Really, it don't. Now, when it comes to, like, doing onesies, shirts, stretch knits, you want to use a cutaway. Um... It just helps stabilizes it. Now they've got 
regular cutaway. They've got medium cutaway. Um, I usually use medium cutaway stabilizer like on the shirts and stuff. I do use that. Now, my go-to thing that I love using, I love, love, love using is this no-show mesh. And this is a cutaway. You can use this on the back of your shirts. Um, your onesies, whatever, you can use this on there. Um, if you're doing towels, um, towels, fleece, cuddle fabric, um, anything like that, I have this, this right here, and... I'm running low on it too. It's this film looking stuff. And what this is, is um, now you can use this. This is a topper. Let me back up. This is a topper. This is going to go on top of your towel. You can pin it, but just make sure it's away from your um, needle because you don't want your needle to hit it. But you lay this on top of your towel, and what it does is it helps keep your stitches on top of your, your towel instead of sinking in the towel. Um, that's a number one important thing, is you want to use the topper. Now, I've heard, I've seen people use press and seal. I have not tried that yet. But they would use press and seal as a topper. Um, I may have to try it and see, um, what it, you know, how it works. But this is your topper for like your towels, your fleece, your cuddle fabric. Um, anything like that, that's, you want to put this on top of it. Your kitchen towels. And it depends on if it's a waffle weave, you won't need a topper on it. But if it's like a towel, you want to Sorry, let me get a drink. So, if you're wanting to monogram towels, make sure you get a topper. Um, Joann's, um, I think Hobby Lobby sells it too. So make sure you want to get a topper because you're going to need this on your towels. Um, this stuff right here is for um, freestanding lace. Um, that's a project I need to do, make a video on, is freestanding lace. I have some freestanding lace uh, designs on here. And I need to do that so you can see um, what to do. And I will do that. Uh, that's what this is. And you... Um... Now, <clears throat> I've had people use this right here. Um, you can stitch on it. It's a, uh, I can't think of what it's called, but you can, I think it's this right here. You can stitch on it 
when you cut it, you put water on it and it dissolves or whatever. Um, I'm thinking you can do free stand and lace on this. I'm not sure, but um, a wash away, wash away, tear away, a wash away deal. I think that's what this is too. So those are some of the different kind of stabilizers. Um, now I use this spray right here. Um, this is the Heat and Bond Spray. You get it at Walmart. It's 10 bucks, but this will not gunk up your needles. I use this if I'm going to do shirts or if I need to spray something down, I will use this right here. Um, if you want to go a little further, I use also this right here and this is heat and bond light now if you want to get into appliques some people will not use you can use the spray or you can use this but I like to use either or um, you just spray it on your fabric don't spray near your machine get you like a box or a newspaper and spray it away from your machine because you don't want that stuff to get in your machine. But this right here, I use to spray on shirts. Now, if you're going to do floating, floating, and I can show you that too, how to do floating. It's just you just hoop. Um, you hoop your stabilizer in your little hoop. And you want to make sure you get your um, your hoop tight. You want to make sure it's tight, you know, like a like a drum. And you want to hoop your stabilizer, which I will show you right now. But I have. I bought these sheets, which are 8 by 8 Now, you can purchase them, too. Here's the tearaway, and I've got the cutaway. And these are sheets for the 8 for the 4 by 4 hoop. You can get those on Amazon, eBay. And I'm going to show you. You want to make sure... And you want to pull your fabric. Now, your tear away, you want to be careful because it will tear. Which it just did. So, you want to make, when you hoop your stabilizer. And then say you're going to, um, you're going to do, um, a towel. Like a little kitchen towel. This will be good to spray on your stabilizer away from your machine and then you lay your towel where you want where you want the stitch to stitch out you lay your towel on top of this and then you stick it in the machine and you start embroidering that's called floating um this like i said this is like applique you know, you iron your, you iron this to your fabric, and then when you get ready to do your applique, now you don't want to put your iron, you don't want to iron it on your stabilizer, because then you can't cut it. So, <clears throat> you just want to cut out your fabric, your piece, with this, iron it on the back of your fabric, and then you'll lay it where it, it'll do a, um... It'll do an applique stitch on here. That's where you lay your fabric. And I think I'm going to do some videos on those of applique freestanding lace, um, towels, and stuff like that. That way, y'all can know how to do that stuff for the beginners of y'all. And um, I think that's what I'm going to do is do videos on each one of those. 
Uh, now thread, make sure you understand that you use embroidery thread only for your embroidery, not sewing thread. Um, It, I think it just, it doesn't work real well, but, um, always use your embroidery thread for your embroidery. Um, that's a difference. You want to make sure it says embroidery on there. Now I have embroidery polyester sheen. It has a sheen to it. But it's 100% polyester. Um, I have one over there that's an isocord. And it's really good too. Um, isocord, Melrose, all that stuff is good. Sucky, sulky, not sucky, sulky goes well with the brother. But I don't like sulky and I don't like rayon. Those are the only two I do not like because the thread is so thin. It breaks, breaks, breaks. Um, I don't use it. I use straight up polyester. That's what I use. Now, bobbin thread. It came with, this came with that embroidery kit. This came with it. Now, I have a local Bernina shop here. And I go to her shop, I get all my stabilizers and all that stuff there. Um, that's where I go. And she's taught me a lot of embroidery. And she's taught me the ins and outs on it. Um, so, you got to work with what works for you. Um, I know it looks like it's intimidating to embroider, but it's not. It's fun. It's relaxing. Um, then, and, and you want to start getting to in the hoop projects. And, and you're, yeah, you're limited because you only have a four by four hoop. Um, I've done zipper bags on here that requires a four by four hoop. Um, I've made this right here on the 4x4 four four machine. I've made this right here. I've got a spring one. Um, I got this off of Sweet Pea Designs. And this is all applique. All of this is applique. And what I have, what she likes to use is the no-show mesh, the cutaway. And you use batting, and you do all the squares, but then the borders and the backing and this and the batting, you do yourself, which I use fusible fleece. But, um... This is one that I created on there. And then here's the spring. And that's another one I did. And I'm going to be doing videos on this. Hopefully, I will get my other machine. I mean, I will. It's just going to take a couple weeks to get it. Oh, my daughter texting me. <laughs>
anyways, um, this is all applique as well. So, I will be doing the videos on these. Um, now, I did this little bag. And it's just a little bag I made. And I've got the breast cancer awareness ribbon right here. And that's another thing I'm going to show you. Um, your USB stick. That's what I like about this machine because I have all my files on here. And I just stick it in. And all my files are on there. Now, um, I plug this into my laptop. And I create folders. There's projects that I bought. There's free designs. Um, Bunny Cup Embroidery is a very good website. Um... I will I like bunny cup embroidery designs um, they have like a lot of kids stuff there um, it's a real good I like that it, it has all kinds of designs on there um, it has free ones um, creative Kiwi is another one Is another one that has free designs on there. Um, Swalk Embroidery. That has free designs on there. Um, if you just go on to Google and always hit free in the hoop projects. It will give you a whole list of designs of of websites to go into and get designs off of. Sweet Pea don't really have that many good design free designs. Um, she may have three, but I'm on her website a lot. I purchase a lot on hers because I buy them. Um. There's a lot of other ones. And, but basically, uh, doing the embroidery part is not hard at all. Um, the way that you thread your machine to your sew, if you're going to sew with it, the way you thread it is the way you're going to thread it to do embroidery. Um, the only thing is, though, the machine is doing embroidery for, for you. Um, in the next video, I will show you how to thread it. Um, it'll probably be tomorrow when I post that video up. Um, I'll do two more videos on there uh, but we will go over I will go over on how to thread your machine and we'll do an embroidery project so that way you'll see and you'll know um, I will get those two done tomorrow um, and any other basics or whatever. But what I wanted to do today was kind of show you um, the type of futures on the sewing machine, what's on there, and the embroidery machine. Um, your USB stick. It does not come with a USB cord. Um, it only does, you only use this. Your, your USB stick. Now it already has um, machine embroidery patterns already built into the machine. You can use those as well. 
Um, if you purchase this machine, you're going to have a disc of 200 patterns. Now, what you can do is you can trans make you a file. And I can show you how to do that as well. I'll put that on my list for tomorrow. I will show you how to put designs on your USB stick and create a file. Um, but the number one thing is um, if you're if you use it for sewing, excuse me, I need a nap. Um, it's the same way you're going to thread. And then what I'll do is I'll go over to wind in the bobbin. Um, show you how to wind the bobbin. Now, um, I like the pre-wound bobbin, the bobbins. Um, you can get, I think, like 10 of them at Walmart for the brother. Um, I purchased some of those as well. Um, you can use those. You can wind your own bobbin. And there's a lot to cover for embroidery. I'm just trying to get everything in there so that way you'll know... Um, how to do it so I went over the stabilizers you know you want to make sure you have a cutaway I mean you want to have a cutaway if you're going to do like shirts or whatever now a lot of times I will use cutaway doing embroidery designs on cotton and the reason is is for that is because it stabilizes it better. Um, yeah, you can use tearaway. Like I said, you know, um, you're going to have your preference on what you like. You may use tearaway on everything. Um, now, I do not recommend it on shirts or knits or anything like that. You want to use a cutaway on that. Your onesies. And then on top of that... On your onesies, if you use cutaway, then you have to go get a stop, soft and stable, whatever. It's a thin coat like this. You iron it on the back, and then what it does, it doesn't um, irritate the baby's skin or the child or whatever. It, you just iron it on the back of it, and that's it. And it doesn't bother their skin. Um, you will have to use that. Now, I've used these on shirts as well and works just fine. Um, that no-show mesh, that's just my favorite thing to use. I love using it. Um, I don't have regular cutaway, but that's what that is, and I like using that. Um... see okay so excuse me we went over the stabilizers the spray the embroidery thread and all that um so tomorrow we will do a project and i probably will do a video today probably, um, on a freestanding lace. I will find a freestanding lace project on there, and we will, I'll show you how to do that. I'll show you how to do an applique. Um, I'll show you how to do a towel. So, that way, you can learn, you know, you can get back on there and and there's tons and tons of videos on stuff like that. You can get on YouTube and look like how to do applique or how to do... Now, all my videos, I'm sorry, but 
I don't like to fast forward nothing. I want people to see exactly what I'm doing, even though it takes long time. I want them to see what I'm doing. I want to explain everything that I'm doing. I don't like all this fast forward stuff and every and all that because I hate that when I go watch a video and it shows nothing but music and well what's the use of watching what you're doing it's just fast forwarding it all up and you know I want to be able to watch okay how do you applique on a towel well I want to watch what you're doing you know go step by step by step if you're a beginner I would want to. That's what I did. I got fr so frustrated with it. I was like, you know, all they do is fast forward and pause. Now, I can understand if the embroidery part, which it is, it when they do the satin stitch, it's a long, I'll pause it, let it finish satin stitch, and then put it back on because um, who wants to watch the whole thing be satin stitched? Um, as long as you're seeing what it's doing, um, then that's good enough for me. Um, but to fast forward through your whole project, you don't get nothing out of that. So, I try to keep my videos simple so people can understand what I'm doing and stuff like that. And, you know, I, I just... People have different preference on things they do, and that's just what the, people may do it. You may see somebody do it one way, and then you may do it another way. You know, like, I have my preferences on embroidery, what works for me. Oh, another thing I wanted to cover real quick is scissors. Now, these are my favorite scissors. These are applique scissors. I like using these. I think they're great. The duck bills, the the scissors. It's got the duck bill, duck bill scissors. the little duck, whatever you call them. I don't like those. I've tried them. I don't like it. Um, I hate those scissors. I like using these. Now, somebody, you may see somebody else use those type of scissors, and that's okay. Everybody has their own preference of what they like. Um, you can use, with your machine, you'll get these little embroidery scissors. This will work too, until you can get some of these. These will work. Um, I have some scissors that I got at Walmart. It's got a little bent to it. it the tip is a little bent. You can use that. As long as you can get to your stitch, but don't cut your stitching. Um, I've seen people use these, you know, but it's just your preference on what you want to do. So, I'm going to get off of here, upload this video, and, um, tomorrow I will cover those three things. Tomorrow we will learn to do the towel, um, we will learn to do applique, and then, um, I will show you how to put your, the easiest way to put your embroidery files on your USB stick and then keep your folders. So, um, those three there will be covered tomorrow. So be looking out for those videos. Okay. I hope, I hope that, um, you find this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, like, share, subscribe to my channel, um, leave comments below, and, um, I will see y'all on the next tutorial. Bye-bye.